They're underway. Do you want me to hit you? Hit you with the with the three notes? Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, the three notes I have are um, how to hand uh, how to handle foxes that swing and hit really hard, because uh, Blarg in like most foxes I've seen today, they're like the type that they'll swing with like an up smash or like. You know, in scrambles, they'll swing right. with, like, a four smash. you get a lot off of that, yeah. Yeah, they'll either catch you kind of sleeping or catch you when you try to swing yourself to where it feels like it's haymaker fight after haymaker fight. So, I I mean, that's, like, the main question I had because Blark is that person where, like, if he gets a hit, say, like, he up smashes me, he's probably going to up smash me again or something like that. Like, he'll get the yeah. hit and then he'll just lay it on. Uh, that's very much, like kind of on par with i'd say most norcal foxes right now they're very much that's like kind of the ish that they usually do gotcha gotcha it's less pokey nary yeah. Thing, yeah it's more about the meaty hit rather than like there's very few foxes in norcal uh, that will try to kind of poke you or really like go for that sort of like just those sort of niche hits and such yeah um second one would be uh we kind of talked about it before it's a uh, how to maintain high level high level of play throughout because I lost both this set and the second set three one so like I can ha maintain that high level of play for probably maybe a game or two I could probably maintain that but the problem is can I maintain it like throughout like not just for like a game or two because everybody <sighs> every player is gonna have that like you see many times in a bracket run. Where someone yeah. just plays maybe that one single game that's like the best game of their life or something. Like that, where just everything mm. just goes well. They may get a couple of breaks that go their way. And, mm -hmm. you know, they ended up taking the game. But the problem is, can you do it the entire set? And that's sort of what I've been thinking about is that, you know, I can do it. I can take games. I don't think that's a question. But the question is, can I maintain it throughout? Because that'll be the difference in me, you know, maybe dropping a 3-1 or maybe a 3-2. And me yeah, actually winning yeah. those sets. Yeah, it's tough because you. This is the Tim tournament you played Umar in. Uh no, this is just a. Oh. Uh, this is just a, a NorCal local. Um, okay, gotcha. Okay. It was a NorCal local. The Umar set I had was just a friendly set that I did. Okay, for sure. Um, yeah. but I feel like this the point still stands of like, can I maintain it throughout an entire, you know, like fifteen or twenty minutes? Makes sense. It's, instead yeah. of like. Of, uh, instead of like a five or six minutes okay 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 and then um the last one would be uh how to handle paint uh patient slash full hop heavy fox because uh, yeah. you know i would say a lot of norcal they they don't really approach a lot of times so like mm. they're gonna be more the full hop heavy they're gonna be very patient they're gonna wait for you to swing so yeah. i mean like usually the common thought is either you go hyper aggressive and get in their face and see if they crack right. or you I do the co yeah. complete opposite where no one just engages no one just gives a fuck and they yeah. just don't engage and i either want to find a healthy balance or find my own way to where i'm comfortable with playing against this type of style because i know they may cat me out more often than not mm. but also just like you know be comfortable with it instead of just like yeah i'm gonna hail mary this this knee or this yeah, side yeah. B. for sure yeah that makes sense yeah and you also don't want your patient style to be your like necessarily your default style because then exactly yeah i don't so, want that to be like the cornerstone of my play because yeah. it's effective yes but the better you get you're it's gonna get it's gonna get ratted out like you want i want like a good clean foundation to where yeah this yes it it, it, it could be a strength I, it, that's fine but i mm -hmm. want it to where i'm a complete player and that like i don't live and die by it gotcha okay yeah that makes sense yeah i can there's definitely some things i can think about for sure okay cool um okay good yep all right all right we can start whenever yep hit it all right cool Yeah, there's that random up smash you were talking about. Yeah, I noticed right... Uh, so go back real quick on this. I, I noticed that right... Uh, so right after he was... I shield immediately. 
I mean, that's fine. Um, that's could have been an air, you know, could have been a drill. I mean, that's well, let's see. I mean, I don't know what kind of punish you get here. Oh, that's fine. I like that. The jump forward, see mm -hmm. what he does. He could have sauce, he could have spot dodge, whatever. Yeah, so that's a that's something to think about right there. But we'll keep going. You know, just gonna... Gotta hit good DI. Okay, yeah, I could, I could have needed that out uh, of shield. Okay, also, Fox should not be getting away with nearing you at that low percent. Like right here? Right there. Yeah. Just hold down. You could hold down. You could stomp out a hit stun here. I think stomp out a hit stun is really good against Fox because it goes over shine, it goes over down tilt, it goes over a lot of moves, you know? So, yeah. Just remember, low percent, like, uh, aerials, he has to really pick the right option after the aerial. Okay, so what I'm already putting down here is hold down more... Um, at low percent, at low percent versus Nair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ma like make him earn the hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make him earn the hit. Yeah, Falco and Fox, they really can't get anything off aerials unless it's deep. This early, you know, like a strong hit, kind of. Yeah, like a strong deep L hit. Like a of. Falco, like a Falco down air or something like that. Or yeah, like, yeah. Or like a Fox following up air maybe or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, so that doesn't connect, so we gotta punish this. I was late. Yeah, sorry. Right. You know. Uh, that that Neron shield, so go back real quick on that Neron shield. So, uh, this is something, like, I would say kind of a bad habit. Um, I've been doing a good job at correcting it. But, like, I'll, like, throw just the Neron shield, usually in a fading-in pattern, and they just, mm -hmm. like, they're shield, DI, shield tilt or shield DI forward. Or yeah. one up shield to disrupt the spacing. Is yeah. this where kind of the like the late fast fall nares may come into play or like more yeah, fadeback? It's... Because my tendency in the past I've noticed, uh, it, it really the Wizzy J Mook said really opened my eyes to it was um like doing the late fast fall aerials, but not always fading in because it's common for people to just want to fade in. Yeah, and get exactly. The stage. Yeah. No, that's a good point. Yeah, but I, I, I think, um, I, I don't mind this snare this early because you're seeing if he's actually gonna block or not. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of foxes might not even block here. Yeah, so, so it's, it's kind of like testing him. Like, are you going to grab this or not? Yeah, yeah. So that's fine. You know, but let's see. Uh, the adjustment that I could make here would, um, would be up airs instead of nares. Late up airs instead of nares. Okay, so like just the late falling up air kind of with like yeah. the tip of the feet kind of like the three point up air yeah well even if you don't tip it, the landing lies way less i believe so you can usually kind of roll or block um out of this out of like a laid yeah. up air you know yeah so would you say like so like experiment with laid up air yeah yeah for sure okay um you could also you could also what i like to do is you could right before you do the nair let me show you Okay, right, frame before frame you, it. Uh, right, right before you do the nair, you can actually block. You can shield stop mm -hmm. and then nair. Okay, so like you do shield stop as the timing mix up and then Yeah. Okay, I actually have been messing about with this a bit in yeah. Uncle Punch where mm -hmm. I would just do the shield stop just like uh, I, I call it C stick up air, uh, like okay. C stick instant up air because mm -hmm. you can do C stick jump to buffer yeah. instant up air. So right here, you're saying I should just do shield stop, C-stick, jump, nair, or something like that? Well, yeah, you could shield stop, and the shield stop gives you, um, you know, it covers two options. It covers him attacking, and it covers him, uh, and it, it just, it covers him blocking. Uh, basically, you have a slight, like, a, a second to kind of decide what you want to do if you block, you know? Yeah, it stops your momentum yeah. as well. So yeah, exactly. Like, it stops your momentum. Because of this nair, right? You're kind of already committed forward here, right? Yeah, I'm already kind of running. Yeah, so the, the the shield stop definitely helps with that momentum thing, so... Yeah, because at that point, yeah. then, I can mess around and be like, do I actually want to go in? Exactly, or, exactly, yeah. Or do I want to fade it back or mess yep. about with the timing a bit? That's exactly right, yeah. So, the, yeah, that's a very, like, the, you have to do this as a Marth player. You have to do the shield stop a lot because his aerials are way way really unsafe if you misspace them right 
Okay, so, so experiment with shield stop, uh, shield yeah. stop aerials, or just shield stop nair specifically. A shield stop aerials, yeah, whatever. Just yeah, but you'll get the concept, yeah. Okay. So shield stop, yeah. Yeah, because I actually have been doing this just kind of like sort of like in drills and Uncle Punch on the side. So mm -hmm. that's actually pretty. I can definitely mix this in already because nice. I already kind of did this unintentionally. Cool, cool. Okay, good to know. Okay, so those are the notes I have. Experiment with laid up air and experiment with shield stop aerial. Okay, good roll there. Good da extra dash dance there. Beautiful. So this right here is very, very important. This is how you beat the full hop, right? You mm -hmm. dash dance like this, right? Yep, the tight dash dance. The tight dash dance, and then you do this nair that fades back like that, right? And then mm -hmm. when he lands... Yeah, he's already in lag. Grab. Yeah, he's in lag. You just you, The only thing I would say is you got to be careful to know if you have enough time to grab him or not, right? Okay. But, so... I guess like when Fox lands, uh, observe where he's at and then react accordingly. Yeah, because let's see where he lands, right? Here, right? You have yeah. enough time there. Yeah, right? there's enough. If you faded back like to that yellow arrow or something, then you wouldn't have enough time, right? And he's probably going to up tilt you or something. Okay, you know what's funny? Here's, uh, I've been playing a lot of Foxes because I actually started playing the matchup a bit before our analysis just to kind of like get prepped. So a yeah. lot of times what they do is they do exactly what you said where they land like a little like just outside of the grab range right. but they do that with like a wave land back they do a full hop wave okay. land back mm. i treat it as like having falcon on a string and they're getting him to bite by grabbing yeah exactly right yeah so you just have to be aware of that right okay that, those mix-ups because you um it's really easy to, to autopilot into grab here mm -hmm. exactly but, yeah but be aware you know so uh, um, uh so when fox lands be aware of where he's at before grabbing yeah before yeah before deciding you know um do should i be um aware of the what is it um should i be aware of when uh of when to do like maybe like the the nares to like catch his landing or is that like a little too much like to think about like you remember we talked about before how you can use nair yeah. to like kind of catch fox's landing is that something like I should consider as well? You, or yeah, you you can else? consider that for sure. Yeah, that's that's definitely the next layer, right? If he tries okay. to, if he let's say he jumps and then he tries to double jump there, or he's being cute and he's 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 just kind of um, jumping and, and doing too late of an aerial, and then that you can intercept with Nair. Okay. So I'm, it's just yeah. I'm I'm gonna write in parentheses Nair catch and up air next layer. Because yeah. that's kind of the next layer upon that. Because you can do like instant up air to intercept them. You can do yeah, exactly. to catch your landing. You could even do side B. Like right, right. Yeah. So you're saying it opens up after that. Yeah, it opens up. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, like if like let's say you try to do the nair and it gets stuffed by his back air. Well, that, that information is saying okay, he's doing his back air early. Mm -hmm. So maybe nair is not very good here, right? M maybe run up block or something. Exactly, run up block. Uh, run up or drive by near when he lands mm -hmm. right side b even even side b side could be an option b, yeah exactly yeah so that that's just information that you you know yeah okay keep going grab and i guess i can so one last thing before we get on that so mm -hmm. is it kind of the same thing if they wave on away just like same thing just observe where yeah. at observe yeah you can observe it's totally fine yeah. Yeah, because you want like, to observe the first couple full hops, that's totally fine too, right? Yeah, because like worst case scenario, you reset. Yeah, you're getting yeah, you're just getting valuable information and stuff like that. Because some people, some foxes don't even have Wayland in their arsenal at all. Yeah, no, know? that's the thing that's interesting. Some of them do. I've noticed already. Some of them do, but mm -hmm. some of them don't. Exactly, and I think that's something yeah. that's really important to point out because if they do, that means that okay, they could be pretty good at using full hop if they know that they can Wayland away. But exactly. those that don't, but those that don't, grab becomes a little bit more available. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, that's why observing is good, and you don't have to necessarily make decisions too quick right now. You know. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna just write observe, um, uh, obs uh, what is it? Observe and reset if they wave line away. Yeah. Yeah. Most foxes are gonna default to their their full hop pattern the first you know few attempts you know mm -hmm. yeah so certainly. they're they're not really they don't have a read on you yet right so there's no way they can 
you know it, it usually takes a few stocks to really like get that get that and sort of like engaged or whatever yeah that's like yeah, that's, a, that's a massive note though i'm just realizing that. yeah yeah because think about it they're observing you too they're like okay does this falcon have early nair in his arsenal mm -hmm. does he have um does he have the does he have like is he just a dash dance grab falcon first of all is he mm -hmm. a um what type of intangibles yeah. does he have yeah exactly right so it's it's all information here Nice. That's good to know, though. Okay, cool. All right. Let's hit it. All right. Yep, I can again. So uh, there's that yeah, falling right there. there. Let's see. Yeah. Was that... That was probably grabbable. Yeah, probably grabbable. Yeah, for sure. Because he's way dashing away. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, grabbable. Yeah, and I fade back in. Yeah, well, right now, it looks like you're playing around sidestep a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, which is fine. That's the default for a lot of spaces, you know? Yeah um but you know that's just information so okay go out of there nice nah the walk um, let's take a look at this ah uh, man the okay. I, I i wouldn't say i get tilted but i'm just like man it always sucks whenever like they just do the walk like, oh yeah, I guess. Yeah, but Fox's walk is like insane. Yeah. It, it like Fox and Sheik's walk, and even Falco's walk. Like those three characters have insanely good walks. Yeah, dude, it's like unfair for sure. Okay, good. So you get out of here. My question is here. You you should be looking at him, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So you know he's in lag. Yeah. You can definitely grab this. I gave him all the respect in the world. Yeah, yeah. When you're rolling, you have to keep watching them, right? Okay, so like, I mean. Because usually my tendency in the past would be either give them all the space in the world or just try mm -hmm. to instantly, like, respond back. Is this the point where I should just, like, just be observant about it and then react? Yeah, accordingly? yeah. Yeah, I think that's important. Yeah, just, yeah, observe, you know, because this guy, or not this guy, Blarg was autopiloting this kind of thing, right? He was, he just, like, mashing down till then he realized he wasn't even checking for roll you know yeah he was mostly just seeing like am i gonna stay in place or something like that yeah okay so here yeah just just make just be aware of if you roll you still have to watch your opponent right okay keep going. Good. Yep. Fine. okay i like the fade back there good dash dance he's walking which is really smart to do against dash dance Mm -hmm. walking beats dash dance pretty much yeah. so he's been uh, uh before uh nick moved he actually beat him quite a few times Oh wow! Uh, yeah. it, so like, he's gotten really good versus Falcon, and he takes games off of Johnny uh, uh, pretty consistently now. So like, yeah, yeah, that's amazing. That's yeah, yeah. He definitely he knows his matchup. So yeah, but just keep in mind, yeah, he's doing the right thing versus dashing. You know, so mm -hmm. yeah. This situation, anytime I see some a fox walking like this, I turn around and grab him immediately. I don't let them do that to me, you know? I just, just like, grab them. just run up, grab if they walk. Yeah, because they're like, okay, do you want to chase me down? Fine. I, I, as soon as I see that walk, I'm grabbing him, you know? They're not ready for it. Mm hmm. Okay, I'll write that down. Just run up, grab yeah. if they walk. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nice. Oh, almost got the stomp. Okay, good nooch. Nice, good shield stop there. Good. So this is another thing you can do, right? That's pretty safe here against this full hop, right? Mm -hmm. Is drive by aerial. Yep. See, notice how the shield... Uh, yeah. Drive by aerial is not bad here. It's somewhat weak to uptilt, but that, that that's not that bad, you know? it. What The drive by aerial just covers dash away too, right? Okay, I'm going to write yeah. that down also on the other one. Just uh, I'll write drive by. Yeah, because... super non-committal, super like... Because, like, I, I noticed, like, I'm overshot to a point to where he can't really do anything to exactly. attack me. Like, it's actually pretty safe. Like, I'm pretty it out of range of anything. Safe. Yeah, if you clip him, cool. If you don't... It's not, it's not the biggest deal. Yeah. Okay. But. Yep. Good shield start, nice. Okay, we gotta be careful of this. 
He's been doing this a lot. He's always full jumping when he gets to center stage. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's one. That's two. two. Okay. okay, so he's done it twice. He's done it a few more times before that, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a mental note. Yep. Look, see? That's three. Three. Three in like the past like five seconds. Yeah. So it's funny though, because obviously it's hindsight, but like I feel like I would pick up on this like really quickly, you know, if I was playing on him, playing him, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just something you really have to like, because this is, yeah, it's just. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of reading comprehension, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so as soon as I see that, you know, a couple times I'm like, "Fuck, you full jump one more time, you're, you know, it's not, you know, I'm ready for it." So just that's just a good mental note. So I mean, I think this is an important note to note. Like, should I write that down in this case? Yeah, I think you should. I think you should. What do they like to do to get center again? You know. Okay, I'll just write Blarg likes to full hop to in yeah. center. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, I'll just write that down because that's more of a specific thing with him. That's true, yeah. Because yeah. that's very, like, I wouldn't say that works against other players. Right. But that's actually that's good, like, just to know. Okay. Good. Good patience there. Beautiful patience, Nathan. Yeah, I'm really happy with this one. This is a beautiful... Patience, patience, patience. No, knows you, you're slightly too far to punish that, right? Mm -hmm. You reset. Coming with the nair, that's really good. Yeah, I didn't trust my tech chases there. Yeah, uh, I think you might have accidentally rolled there. Oh, that traded. That was really cool. All right, what was, oh, doing it again. Let's see. Yes, sir. Okay, so that's definitely the main habit. Yeah. Uh, because the entirety, I thought I, <laughs> I thought it was farther off stage, but that that entire stock was all because of the full hop. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm not trusting my tech chases. Uh, I'm just gonna put that down as just you know more of a personal note. Trust yeah. the tech chase. Yeah, I've, I've been getting better at, it, so I'm not too concerned. For sure. I fucked up there. Yep. Okay, so hang, go back there. So like, um, usually like, so they'll, at least Blarg does this a lot, and I know a couple others where they'll just throw out. They'll just, I don't know if it's intentional or not if they're trying to roll, but they'll mm. just throw out the forward smash, like just oh. let it rip. It's kind kind of like how Marts do, where they'll just swing with the F smash. I get it. Foxes also... do the same thing. Like yeah, like I don't know if he meant to roll here or not, but I'm just saying that. I think like, he probably meant to dash attack. I've got I've gotten hit by this a few yeah. times before, okay. like where I'd be in a scrappy situation, and yeah. then say I hit I get like an undershot an error an error that's just short of me hitting him, and then he just forward smashes it, kind of like how Mart does. Yeah, it's just one of those things where like if you don't get the first punish, then you probably don't have a punish like this. Get up, just get up attack. If you can't punish it here. Mm -hmm. It's just it's a, it's. I'm, tricky I'm out of I'm out of I'm out of range to like CC yeah, it basically. It's just one. Of, I mean, you're not used to punishing that. Nobody does that move, right? It's like <laughs> not, it's not just, really. It's so rare. Yeah. So I wouldn't be too like on yourself about the situation. It's just a weird move because it yeah. moves Fox and her box like really weirdly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, don't worry about it this time. But yeah, I CC it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Four B knee. Good ass knee. Uh... Uh, he caught me jumping that time, but good yeah. recognition on me. Okay. Better. Oh, shit. Nice. Nice. Oh. Wow, you got that. I'm really happy. Hand. Yeah. That was a teeter cancel me. Go back real quick. So this is something I've been experimenting with. So yeah. I, um, it's been getting a lot more refined. So I would like, I would intentionally, like I do this in neutral, where I do an, in I intentionally will overshoot something, mm. but then overshoot it because I'm lagless once I teeter. Oh, so right. I'm like, so I just cool. dash back afterwards or jump afterwards, oh, and that's, that's just so like cool. a small instance of that working. Where I'm like, okay, wait. I had no, no idea. Oh, that's I, in PM too. That's crazy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I, I just like, the, I'm like really happy that that actually came up here. Oh, that's cool. Okay. 
That was amazing. No wonder you were able to get that grab. Like, <laughs> okay, good. Ooh. That's fine, I think. I like what you did here. With the Am I giving him a little too much space and credit here? Because I do a wave dash back and he hits me. Um... It's fine. Because, yeah. like, I mean, my tendency sometimes is that I'll give foxes too much credit and yeah, give them, like, full-on you, you, respect. You could nair again here if you wanted. You could nair again here, right? Uh, My jump squat's four. His is three, I think. I think his like, nair comes out quicker than mine. No, I mean, just instead of before the wave dash, you could just nair, land and nair. Oh, just like instead of the dash dance, just nair yeah, again. Yeah, just nair, nair, nair. Yeah, because foxes never expect people. People don't expect that. They don't mm -hmm. expect double nair. Okay. Um. Yeah. So think about that. You know. Okay. Is that worth writing down or not really? Uh, we'll see if it's a if it's if he keeps catching you with this. Okay. Uh, turning um, winner. That oh. was one thing I I studied a previous set Morgan I yeah. had before this. I, I will say I do have a tourney winner habit. Like, it just in okay. every matchup. It's something that I never really was aware of before, but I've realized it's actually become a habit, so I just want to point that out. That I oh, sometimes, okay. sometimes tourney winner a lot. Yeah, but sometimes you have really good tourney winners, so... Oh, missed the punish on the dash attack. Okay, I like the... Okay. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Oh, no. Di wasn't the greatest on the back error. Yeah. <laughs> Current me would probably be much better at it. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. I, is the same thing with the Nair thing? Should I just remember to hold down? It's like yeah, right you got to remember to hold down, yeah. Was that hand? So go back. I want to see. Was I actually already in the midst of jumping when I got jabbed? Uh, right. I think you were, yeah. I think I, I may have been jumping already. Yeah, it was a weird roll by him, but yeah. Good, okay. He's just holding down. Uh, yeah, I think you messed up uh, this full hop or something. Yeah, I don't do a short hop there, but it yeah. it actually worked out for the better because I would have probably gotten hit by it. Yeah. Nice. Oh, he's got here, right? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. good, good. Okay, that was good. Okay. Um. Yeah, that was good. I mean, you missed a lot of your tech chases, but you still won. So. Yeah, I'm like happy. Like, I think I played pretty well in the set. Mm -hmm. but like i could tell like this sort of what i was talking about with like the sustainability thing like could i sustain it for okay a long period of time because i otherwise like you'll probably see as it goes on by start to kind of get i wouldn't say like body but i definitely start to get kind of get picked apart or okay you see me i wouldn't say run out of gas but definitely just like him kind of push ahead gotcha um This is where the shield stop would be really good here. Do you think even run up grab would have been decent? Yeah, I think so. I think run up grab is, is mean, one of those things. Because I haven't really done run up grab at all this set. Yeah, I think run up grab is the cornerstone of how you play. I mean, a lot of it is just because some people just don't think you can run up grab. That is true. They, they just don't, you know? They just don't believe in it. Yeah. I guess just write down believe in run up grab. Yeah. Oh shit. Crash can send the fuck out of that. Yeah, I gotta work on just ASDIing down Fox's up smash better. Like I, I can hit oh, I can yeah. ASDI down but I don't hit the tech. And if I okay. hit the tech, I actually yeah. can grab him. <clears throat> yeah, you can. Yeah, that's a good point. You do the little yeah, for sure. I've seen it, yeah. Okay, got a clip. Oh, you can just rinse and repeat this. Like rinse and repeat Grab. back air, or no, you can actually just rinse and repeat first hit in air. If you're if you're in that weird situation. Oh, like the, the like you. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Like you do the rinse repeat rising air. It, it puts yes. him downwards again. 
yeah drop down do it again and so yep. maybe you either stomp or back air him exactly yeah because no aerial here is going to kill him right no not really nah, i got cute with it but yeah nice the run up grab nice well good 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 fucking movement here okay he beat your nair with your nair it's not a big deal shit it That's sort of the thing, like, I'll do that fade-in a lot of times, and yeah. I get called out for it. Like, I'll do a fade-in there, fade-in stomp or whatever, and yeah. I'll get called out. Like, at least, when I play players that are worse than me, mm -hmm. I can, I've can i noticed I can kind of get away with it, because they don't really have the counter-defense to it. Yeah. But, like, players like an Umar, like a Blarg or whatever, like, people that are actually, like, seasoned yeah. and know what they're doing, I've noticed that that just, that just doesn't work. It just won't no. work. So, like... Is that just an instance of just remember to have discipline and respect them when it's there that yeah because the opening's not always gonna be there like ninety percent of the time. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I do respect that you went for a stomp though, because that if you're gonna go for an aerial here, stomp's definitely the right one. You know. Yeah, because if I hit him, it pops him up, or at least puts yeah. it. You know, it's good percent. Yeah, but remember what we talked about is, uh, the front. If you're gonna do a stomp, usually just do. The butt stomp, like reverse stomp, right? The back hit. The back hit, yeah. If you're gonna do this, you could you could just like turn around and then do it, you know? Yeah, I don't think is that worth writing down. I feel like it's kind of no, no, no. you don't have to. It's just, just kind remember of stomp, how good remember, remember how good stomp like butt stomp is, right? Cause, yeah, I mean Falcon's yeah. the Falcon's ass is melee's ass, as I've said. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. There's that runoff grab. But yeah. again, not much out of the tech chase. Like, that's already yeah. the big thing. It's just. Ooh, that's a tough I'm, punish. I, I'm not. Go back. So, this is a problem I have. So, uh, my tendency, I love to just, just throw out a knee after the initial throw or throw out a stop after the initial throw, and then yeah. I do it. I'm not trusting it that's the problem yeah I just, yeah it's like i will say i'm like very self-aware of this and i've been getting better at it but i've always just it bothers me whenever i do it because i'm like i've done it god knows how many times of like i get the initial throw and i just i just throw out of hail mary or hail mary stomp praying that they either tech in place miss the tech or tech in the direction where i can hit them with it yeah. So like, I mean, it's just I want to point that out because that's been a big, it's a big habit I have is that I like to just do I call it the fuck it knee. It's like fuck it down throw, fuck it knee. Basically. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I understand. Yeah, there's a big there's a big payoff for it for sure. It is. I'm not gonna question it, but like at this sort of like level or whatever, like I don't juncture. Like I have to remember to trust the tech chase. Yeah. So, all right so this is catching you a little bit here this dashing nair here mm -hmm. yeah can i just run up block it you can run up block it but just chill for a second blarg really does not like to give up center no okay so some foxes will run away the mental note here is i make is blarg does not like to run away when he's in center he will usually attack a full hop right Okay, I'll write that down, actually. Blarg yeah. likes to hold center. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. Because the overshoots aren't going to do much here if he's not, you know, moving, so... Okay, yeah, and it, it, that is definitely true. I've seen some foxes, they'll go to, like, the other side of the, other side of the stage and just shoot lasers or something like that. Or some will yeah. just chill to the top platform and just not engage. Whereas he, he kind of is pretty content to just, like, chill center. Yeah, for sure. Oh, such a good yeah. punish. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and this is what I was talking about yeah, with me yeah, fitting in. Right, because he's not moving, right? He's holding center. He will not move. Yep. You know? It's exact this is that's like a, right there, that interaction is a textbook example of what I like to do is that if I start to kinda of get off balance or off center a little bit, yeah. I'll I basically am like kind of I get into this sort of state of I just want to get center now. You know, yeah. It's like I just get yeah. me to center, get me back into control. When exactly. I had to remember to still play the disadvantage Definitely, and observe yeah. what he does. Yeah. That's really important. Good. Well, yeah. I'm glad you said it because you know, yeah. 
Okay, the I'll write that down. Just remember to play disadvantage. Sure, sure, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, okay. Good job getting the center. No, the tech roll. Messed up your near. Save me. Nice. Oh, oh wow. That's sick. Oh. Oh, I like that. Nice. Back here. Oh, oh no, no, I forgot. Oh, you're too slow. Yep, I remember this. I remember this. Yeah. Yep, I remember that vividly. I remember that was a big turn. That's tough. That was a big turn to momentum. Because it was pretty close All right, to that there point. There we go. Yeah, remember this. In center. Okay, he doesn't like to give it up, right? Yep, and you saw he did the full hop thing again in center. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, this is just a big, meaty punish. I'm tech rolling uh, in. Falcon roll. can't get too much on FD when he says tech yeah. chased. I mean, that, that entire, I mean, I, I got blown up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's covered well. Ooh, that's sick. I, I, rolled, I rolled in, like, yeah. in that entire situation, I rolled in about three or four times. In that entire, like, almost everything there was a tech roll in or just a regular roll in. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So I just want to point that out, but. Yeah. This is, like, good. This is but, good, though. I'm glad I'm aware of this now. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, big thing we learned is he doesn't like to give us up center here. Mm -hmm. So you gotta you gotta strip you gotta change your neutral up a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay, let's hit the next game. I believe game three was on Dreamland, if I remember correctly. Oh, it was Valco. Good run up shine by him. Nice. Nice punish. Nah, I could, could I have just grabbed? So hang on, go back. I think you could have. So like right here, so I stomp him. Uh, you were just late. You he, were just yeah, late. he rolled in also. Yeah. That's sort of what I was talking about. Like I just, I just want the knee so bad, kind yeah. of. Yeah. All right, right there again. Gotta be careful here, man. He, li he will not let you dash around in center. He will always attack you. Mm hmm So. That's, that's his zone. Yeah, it's a zone, right? So you got to back up. You got to play around it. Go on the platform, right? Mm -hmm. Try to, you know, punish his nair. Do reverse butt stomp if he comes in, right? Mm -hmm. Dash away reverse butt stomp, remember? That, yep. that shit. Anytime. Anytime you think about he's going to come at you, run, run away, turn around, you know, run away, butt stomp, right? Yep. Use his ass. Yeah. Nice. Full, he full jumped in center. Mm -hmm. Doesn't want to give it up. You're patient. Yeah, Good. Dead? Ah. Uh, okay, you got him. I worked it. It worked out. Okay, that was a good grab by him. There's the fade in again. I like the Yeah, hit. there's the fade in. Yeah, remember. Yeah, fade in stomp like that. It's just it's the hitbox is too. It's a yeah. good idea, just the box sucks. <laughs> that entire grab is crazy. I just want to yeah. say this. That I remember we were both laughing about when this happened. I'm just like, it's, it's one of the most Fox things I've ever seen. Oh, that's hilarious, dude. <laughs> I'm not even mad. I'm just like, god damn. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. you got a kill off of it. Super funny. Yeah, you got to play around him in center, man. Mm-hmm. I like the up air here, but it's not going to do anything if you hit him, right? At zero. He, he's at zero. Like, what's yeah. worst case rough, scenario? Yeah. Worst case scenario, you get like he eats a hit, but he can CC it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then uh, he hit me. Up. He hit me with the BM shine, as uh, yeah. Cat Bot and I call it. Okay. The fade in actually. Nice, good stunned. job here. I like that near. That was good. I, I understand why the fade in there worked that time though because I did a shield yeah. stop. Yeah. Good. Okay, that's fine. Good. You waited for his full hop. Good. Oh, you messed up. Side step on accident. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 
low shield, kind of tough. Yeah, at low shield, it's easy to poke. Yeah. I'm already noticing as well, it pretty much every, a good chunk of this entire game has just been with him in control at center. Yeah, I, much, I'm just right? I'm and really noticing to... it that like almost the entirety of the, this game in particular is yeah. just him being at center. Right. So you really just got to mix up the movement, bait him a couple times, run away, stomp. Right. Would uh, you want me just to write learn to get get him off center? Yeah, yeah. But you know he's gonna come at you once you get close, right? Yeah. So you, a couple of times you were really patient. You waited for him to full hop, and then he punished, right? Yeah, I'll write, I'll write, learn to get him off center, bait him with movement. Yeah. Uh, bait him with movement and moves. Like, use moves that can kind of get him to fight. Because I'm noticing that he's just not biting, and just a lot of the time it's just, he vibes at center. Um, yeah. If I kind of get in that sort of, I, I might just call it the blarg zone. If I get into the blarg zone, then he'll start to swing or do something. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's good to know, though. Okay. Yeah, I so assume this is totally fine what you're doing here. Mm hmm Right? Yep, Fayback's fine. That knee's even Fayback, fine. fine. Let's see if you keep doing... Okay. All right, let me just clip you there. Some problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's where I should hit the tech. Yeah. Oh, that was oh. nasty upper. Nice. That was sick. Oh. Oh, that was so good, Nathan. What the fuck? <laughs> that was beautiful, man. <laughs> Thank oh you. my god. Thank you. I missed one cancel. Oh, that was good. What the fuck? That was so smart. Nah, he caught the. That was a good jab by him. Yeah. Is that kind of like should I just run up block when that happens, or is that just generally just really good by him to get the jab? It's just really good, but you know you can run up block. You're just tough situation there. Yeah. But yeah, so that that game we learned you got to play around center, right? Yep. He's just not not going to give it to you, so. Yep. All right, game four. Yeah. Man. Nice. Man. Okay. Nice. Okay, nice. Nice. Good job, Nathan. You knew you didn't have time to punish. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh my god, that yeah, was atrocious. He, he went all the way to Hawaii. <laughs> what the? F how do you di that bad, he, dude? He, oh he tried. He tried to. I know he tried to tech the. Uh, to like, uh, he tried to onto tech it to where he teched Holy um, tech the stage, but he he missed yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he di'd all the way down to Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, really bad roll there, but. Uh, that stomp, man. Mm -hmm. That hit. I mean, like, it's a good idea, but the hitbox just sucks, dude. Yeah, it's got to be not like reading you. He's not like reading you or anything. It's just like literally, there's no hitbox for him I, to worry about. I'm just know? giving it to him. Yeah. The block. Okay, At that time, it actually worked though. But I feel yeah. like. <laughs> At what cost? It's like uh, one in a billion times it's going to work eventually. Yeah. How'd you lose the stock? Stop that stomp. Right, so okay. get that one. Not much out of it. I try to finish with me again. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It can have a questionable air dodge. Yeah. Right, nice. Yeah. 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 Now he's trying to go for like the really early kills. That was yeah. That was a really good drill by him though, right here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that sucks. Just missed your thing. Yeah, that was an amazing drill. It's catching me double jumping or uh like double jumping instantly after hit sun. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Nice. Uh, okay. 
Oh, you read him. Yep. But it's still, it's the same thing. It's usually initial throw and then I do a stop or a knee. I yeah. don't think I've committed to like a legitimate tech chase like once this entire set. Mm. Yeah. So maybe one or two at the beginning, but that's about it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, remember, you can't let him combo this. Mm -hmm. Got to hold down. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, clean 62. Yeah. And counting. I tried rolling. Yeah. Oh, that's that a really him. that's really good by him. Yeah, really good dash attack. Okay, he held down, right? Mm-hmm. He did. Yeah. Oh my god. That grab is crazy hand. Did he grab me out yeah. of the air? Yeah. I just want to go back real quick and just see. I think he did. No, I just grabbed you. Blocking. That miss tech punish is pretty crazy. Yeah, it hits hard. Yeah, I mean, but that's kind right. of the story of how, of like, just kind of how the set went. Like, he just. Yeah. I, I, I get hit hard and then I just. I, the best thing I can say is that I get out hit. Like I hit hard. Like I have a good punish game as well, and I can hit really hard. Mm -hmm. But he hits harder. And I guess like the yeah. question I have, at least just regarding the first set, and it's probably gonna be the trend in the second set is just how do I either match it or find ways to do like to go about oh. it when he's hitting that hard? Because I mean, yeah. like when he got a punish, it was borderline to death. Yeah. Well, also. You gotta, um, I don't know what your smash DI is on those up smashes, but you should be smash DIing the up smash enough so we get use you can go to go towards a platform, right? Okay, so SDA away, Fox up smash, yeah, yeah. So, okay, is there like anything else specifically with game four? Or is that kind of like the big thing? That's a big thing, but also you gotta remember, um, if you're running around or if you're low percent. Um, just be aware that if he hits you, you can hit him back at low percent. Okay, be um, aware that you can hit Fox back at low percent. Yeah, if you DI it, smash, if you DI it right, cross cancel, you know, whatever it may be, you know. Because um, he's getting a lot <coughs> at low percent. Um, yeah, so... And then I'm going to just point out, don't live and die on fade and stomp. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. And I just need more butt stomp from you this this entire set, you know? Way more butt stomp. Dash away butt stomp was, like, so good against Fox, you know? Okay, so, all right. Uh, do butt stomp. Okay, that's good for step one. We can go to set two now. Because huh. yeah, I, I, I felt like it'd be good to go over because... They played up pretty similar, and since they're from the same tournament, it's worth. Okay, yeah, for sure, yeah. I think it, I, I was like, you know, there's two sets of this, and they're probably gonna play pretty similar. It's worth going over because yeah, there could be yeah. there could be some adjustments, but the game plan is generally the same. Yeah. So, so we'll see. It, how it's how like this is that. kind of more of like, this is more of like a continuation. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay. Also, Kellen is in chat. Yeah. Okay, good job. You you tech the up smash here. Oh, that grab storm right through him. Okay, okay, so one thing here. This tech here, you do not have to tech in. You don't even have mm -hmm. to tech at all. Just even you know? no tech? Yeah, even no tech here. Cause his his up smash the it's you can't even punish tech in place if you did it right away, you know? You'd have to like hard commit if you were to punish yeah. that. Yeah, but the fact that you roll in just kind of makes it really easy for him. That is something I will say that's been a habit of mine. At least when like when I'm scared. Mm. Um, I can't recall if I was like scared or not. Like in this set, but like this is a habit where I do like the tech in a lot of times. Yeah. You know, I don't know what to do. Is that just like just metal, write that down as a mental note? 
you yeah. like you like the tech end a lot for sure yeah you just really got to be like because he's using moves that, that build percent right mm -hmm. um and uh yeah just got to be aware okay he's really not tech chasing with aerials and stuff at no. all you know he's still doing oh, the full pop thing at center yeah exactly yeah so you're right here yeah like kai is slightly slightly away from center it's like just outside like right by the pokeball he does the whole yeah arc. but the thing that, that that's bothering me though is you seem to like want to want to hit him at like the same times you know like the like, same time as he does yeah so it's always like the same rhythm like do 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 you like know? i need to change the rhythm is what you're you saying you really do yeah you add an extra dash dance in here for sure okay so i'll write change timing slash rhythm yeah because i will say uh, that is actually another thing like I i've been really just kind of like i've come to a full realization on a lot of my style that i'm very much a rhythm based player yeah um yeah for better or for worse or for worse i am a rhythm based player yeah so like when i'm caught in my rhythm would say if someone reads my rhythm, I could just get blown the fuck up. Exactly. Like yeah, so, yeah. so, like I had to remember to just not always like live and die off of it, and remember yeah. to be proactive and flexible. Because exactly. it looks like I'm already realizing, just like from seeing this right now, he's just catching the rhythm. That's yeah, all. There's yeah. nothing really special that he's doing. That's exactly. Like, that's like holy shit. You know, this is insane. He's just yeah. catching my rhythm and catching my timing exactly yeah extra dash dance is important because remember when you were mixing up your movement against those falcos when we were doing that analysis yes uh was it the graves grand finals yeah I think it was? basically you were doing a bunch of stuff not only were you dash dancing you were going to the platform going down you were doing mm -hmm. empty hops right yeah this was this set for context is i think like four or five months ago so a lot oh, has changed. but i wanted to study it anyway because i know yeah. i played well okay for sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Kellen. Uh, yep. Full hopping okay. center. Okay, but you did double nair, which I like. Which mm -hmm. is really good here. Yeah, so like... One, two... Yep, that's exactly what you remember I didn't do that in set one. Good, yeah. All right, well, that's an adjustment, though, but we now know, I think, it's a trend yeah. at this point. Yeah, full but what you're not doing uh, he, here... He does the full hop at center. Yeah, he does the full hop at center, yeah. Okay, but what, I, what you're not doing here is you're not doing the stomps when you dash away, you know? Like like the, like the dash away butt stomp? Yeah, dash away butt stomp. Because it's just ridiculous. It's... Because... Mm -hmm. Wizzy does it a lot. From... Wizzy does yeah. it a ton. Runaway back air is ass, because they just run up crouch cancel back air and just shine mm -hmm. you, you know? It's, like, only good until they're out. It's, like, good once they're outside CC percent. Yeah. But, like, they're at 30. They're not going to care. They'll yeah, they'll also, take they, the hit. They can also just down tilt out of, out of, out of, out of the range of your back air, mm -hmm. too. So Or they can run up block and disrupt the spacing. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay. Right. Off smash. Aw, oh. uh, a little late. Aw. Uh. Yeah. Let's get off smash ram. Okay. Uh, a little slow on that tech chase. Yeah. Okay. Good job. This is exactly what you should do at this up smash, right? Up smash, DI, slide off, right? Mm -hmm. Look how far you went off on the up smash, right? Like, I don't know. Maybe you're just, like, forgetting to really, really focus on smash di these these up smashes. Yeah, but it's, like, it's huge to get because he doesn't really... Yeah. He doesn't don't... really... Like, what's the worst he can get? Like, right. maybe he runs and closes in the space. Right. But, right. like, what else can he really... He can't really follow up on it. He can't really do like, uh, he can't really do like up smash nair or up smash right. into up smash or anything like that. Yeah. So the mix up for Fox here is if he thinks he's going to smash GI, he does up tilt. Mm hmm. Like turn he around does, up like, tilt. Turn around up tilt. He does a late hit of up tilt. So that, so basically the thing is the late hit of up tilt, it, you basically whiff your smash GI on the hits done, right? Okay. And he gets an up tilt uh with you holding left and that's and then he gets an up smash so 
Okay. That's the mix up, you know? So foxes will up tilt as a mix up to up smash then? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll write that down. Um, uh, up tilt as. Because it's a uh, lot harder to smash DI up tilt. Um, because it just it hits like at a weird awkward timing. You can you could you could you could hit with up tilt early. You could hit with it late. You know so. Okay, I'll write it. So what I have down for that is foxes will up tilt as a mix up to up smash off um off of throw. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and you know it's easy to forget to to smash GI stuff. Sometimes you're mm -hmm. just like, oh fuck, yeah. I got comboed, right? So. And then like I guess like to continue on with it. Then the next layer could be up throw back air, up throw nair. That's yeah, like nair, that's like yeah. the second or third layer of yeah, exactly. after of after the up tilt and the up smash is that okay? Then they do up throw nair, up throw falling up air or something like that. Like yeah, something like that. Th the yeah. game opens up. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll write just in parentheses for that. Nair, bear, uh, are the other layers. Yep. Are other layers. So say this has actually been insanely insightful because like I'm I'm seeing now the different layers of it. <laughs> cool, cool. All right. Oh, I messed up. Yeah. Uh, oh, I missed it. I missed a turnaround. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, yeah. I'm just, yeah. Uh, I want to go back real quick. So that four B. So let's see. Four B. He does four oh. B right there. Yeah, is that a little, just... little bit of a desperation? Because no, it, it, it if, he, if he starts totally up, if he starts up Firefox, that up air hits. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't hate this. It's not, that's not the worst. He just. He's just out of range because, like, if he was a little range, you know? if he was a little closer, I catch him with the knee. Yeah, it's whatever. I don't like that you double jump right away though. Like right here, yeah. Cause up air never up air just too slow here, you know. It, it, do you think I should just do soft knee and then it's just not even up air, just soft knee double jump back or something like that? Yeah, if you if you don't, it doesn't hit. Yeah. Okay, I'll just keep that as a mental note. I won't really write yeah, that yeah, down. For sure. But yeah, my muscle memory is always soft knee up air. That typically. Yeah. The, the the thing about this matchup, it's totally okay to make mistakes in this mm -hmm. matchup and get hit. It's yeah, you can, okay blow, you can blow them up right after. Right, but it's not okay to make mistakes by the ledge. That's Kellen's only... saying I, I don't have to knee off the stage either. Yeah, you don't have to. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's don't have to. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh I got the rig. I didn't expect that. Oh, it worked really out. Really yeah. uh, nice, Nathan. That's a good grab. Very good grab. Oh, we gotta get this. Yeah, I agree, yeah. Kellen. The on the tier cancel stuff. I agree. Yeah, you're Tech just not in. waiting enough. You're just not. You're just 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 wait a little longer now. You know. I'm just kind of rushing in. Yeah. I'll just write this down. Just wait more. Yeah. It's like I'm I'm trying to initiate everything, kind of. Yeah. A little, just a little too much. Yeah. Flop at center. Yeah, yeah, flop center. Your movement got kind of fucked up there. Yeah. Oh, small errors. Yeah, that's that's the bark foundation is flop center. Yeah. Check chase. I'm actually hitting them this time. Oh, oh Kelly, I kind of see what you're nice. talking about. So, hey, go back. So, uh, I get the so I get so go back to where I think I get the jab reset knee. So right. So I get the knee. This is what Callum's talking about, like with the teeter cancel. I yeah, I kind of see what you mean now, Callum. Oh yeah. Because I can just dash back, still have momentum and stuff like that. Yeah. That's good. Dash up, trying by him, really good. Okay, keep in mind here. The. Yeah, the nairs are going to work for so long, right? Mm -hmm. You got to mix in those stomps, those dash away stomps, man. Yeah, because yeah, it's gonna nullify the CCA. Yeah. Because he's pretty content with just crouching right now. There's not really a threat range for yeah. him. Yeah. Oh. That's unfortunate. Right here. Better DI though. It was actually much better DI. So right here. Watch this. So uh, he, I'm like, he's gonna outsmash. I'm actually pretty happy with this DI. Yeah. That's, That's actually pretty much good. better DI. Oh. Yeah. Meant to be a roll.
Mm, yeah, okay. Gotta... I'm giving Cause... him. A, I'm giving him a lot of credit. Yeah, but uh, I know I keep saying it, but the snares, the yeah, like Dash Away Stomp here. You got to represent it, like otherwise he's because he's not afraid. He's not afraid of getting nared. Mm -hmm. He's not because nair's not gonna combo if he's holding down, right? Yeah. Knee's not gonna combo if he's holding down, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, there's not really a threat for him right now. Yeah. Is what you're saying. Yeah. Back air is not gonna combo really. Nice. Uh, the good knee. Okay. It brought the last stock. Yeah, he did. Pretty impressive. Oh, That's shit. unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. You live? Okay. I jumped uh, dead. Oh shit! Oh, big light shield. I like it. Nah, that that air dodge. I meant to wave land. That air dodge. Yeah. It was meant to be a wave land right here. That's tough. Because if I wave land, I get out of that. Yeah. That sucks. For sure. Okay. Well. But I mean, it's much. I mean, it's better. I brought it back. Yeah, no, no, this is this is crazy. You're you're barely getting any stomps, and you're still getting it close. You know. Yeah. Well, and that's what I was thinking is like I know I'm playing like I mean, despite everything, the games I'd say are still fairly respectable, and that's why I was like I think it'd be good to analyze it because I don't think I played terrible. I don't think I played really bad, but there's definitely some things I can work on, like the stomps, like you mentioned. Yeah, dude, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. And... Uh, he, there it what is. What the fuck did you just do, bro? I actually did it. See? What the fuck, bro? It was Kellen, the first time you did and it. And Kellen, you just say it. You just said the nine two five theory, man. We all. I remember you've told me this like years ago, and I think it still applies. Four stomps in neutral is all it takes to win a game. Exactly, dude. Four stomps. That's it. That's stomp number one. Yeah. All right, so I I literally did it. Okay. okay. And not the best DI. Oh, the fuck? I don't think I fucked. Eh. I fucked. I knows. fucked that up entirely. Hang, go back yeah. to it when I hit the stomp. Use a zero. I don't think you get anything at zero. No, I get stomp to grab. Oh, you can. Okay. But here's the thing. I try. I was anticipating that he tech roll away, and I just <laughs> that entire situation I fucked up and got myself into. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Like I just saw them. Like if I just stomp grab, I can just yeah tech chase him. So. <laughs> that that's that. yeah kellen it is grab guaranteed so i completely fucked that up <laughs> yeah this fatty punish and yeah. i don't like the tech in, the tech immediately here yeah not the best di either i don't think i di'd that up smash the best yeah well tech immediately is fine i guess he up smashes it good on him yeah that's two uh, that's three yep yeah. this is what yeah. i was talking and about he, with fox swinging well yeah well you refused to di away on this one right yeah i held in you held in on that one yeah held in and then the third hit yeah, I believe it is a type. It is a type punish, Callum. I don't know how long you can you can. Can you crash cancel tech that L smash? I think so. Yeah, I, I want. I have. Hey, what percent was that? So before the L smash hit. Thirteen. Oh, that's de that's easily techable. Yeah, that, I, yeah. I could tech. I could tech that. That's yeah. easily techable. Jeez, yeah, that's. Seventy nine percent, ninety one, one oh six. Okay. Okay. Oh, Excuse I him? actually. Oh, that was a sick grab. Oh, what the fuck was that tech? That was pretty funny. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I tried it. I, I like. I like that I went for it. Yeah. Big Falcon. Can we live at one forty four from an Oh my god. Oh. Go. Nice. Oh no, that's. That was a good tech. Good. Yeah. Oh, I did the fade back. Yeah, he did. It was good. I'm actually doing it. And it, it, in C, now the, the fade ins can work sometimes. Yeah. Ah, I don't. Decently well. Hands, go back. I want to see the ledge dash again. Like, I, ass, what ledge dash? I, so, I've actually been studying uh, ledge dashes recently. So, I just mm -hmm. want to see the ledge dash interaction again of what I could have done. So, okay, so he gets the lead dash. I conditioned this pretty well. Eh, maybe could have gone for butt stop, but I think the back air could have beaten it. That's pretty hard. That's pretty hard. Yeah, that's, that's pretty hard. That's yeah. a pretty good lead dash back air from him. It's really good. It's really crisp, yeah. 
Nice. Good job. He got his away that time. Ah, that's Whatever. unfortunate. <laughs> that's unfortunate. <laughs> you get you get those because he's playing Fox. Yeah. Good. Oh, I'm actually doing you're it. Presenting. You're actually doing it. Good. Okay. I like that fadeaway near though. That was good. Two. Okay. I'm actually tech chasing. Yeah. Ah, uh, that. You remember we talked about years ago about um about stomping tech in place there. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's it. That. <laughs> that exact situation came up. <laughs> okay. My question is here is why did you? I think you're at twenty five. I don't think it's worth blocking here. Even at that low percent. Yeah. Just. Because what do you just do? Mash jab. Just mash jab. Yeah. Do you want me to just like? I mean, there's. A, I guess the thing is, there's not a lot of notes I've written down for this game too. I guess just. Is it really much like just as of now? Because I feel no, like no, as I've of done, now, no. I feel like everything I've done has been really good. Yeah, for sure. This game has been pretty pretty solid. Okay. Yeah. Holy right there. Attack. He's oh, oh. Big. oh no! Come on. Nice. Oh, good di. Oh. That's I did the I did the way dash four, which is not. That was it's a good idea. I don't mind yeah. it, but you're at fifty three. You really don't have to be too worried about. Um... Do you think it's worth just like going back to ledge then? I mean, you could do that. You could also just roll the center, right? Can he? He can't punish you if he's on the platform. He can't punish a roll if he's on the platform, right? Look, I could have poked him. Like, I could have poked yeah, him maybe there, okay. But yeah, I don't know. You just ran under him. Okay, so here's the thing. You have position here, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just dashed forward. I guess you just didn't punish the tournament winner. And you got to punish that tournament winner, right? Yeah. Just instant up air yeah. or something like that. Yeah, instant up air. You just missed the instant up air, yeah. Yeah. You got a bad situation for it. Yeah. And then, I mean, like, in the bad situation, maybe go to ledge... I try, yeah. I try to I tried engaging in it too much. Yeah. A throw. Ah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Good. Good patience there. I did the hand go back. You remember we talked about this a while back? Oh the double jump? Go I did back. it. Yeah. I did, did the double I did good. the double jump thing. That's good. I like it. That's smart. Good. Be yep, back good back here. He's dead. Okay. You're not going to get away with those nares. Nope. Oh, that was a weird punish. Yeah. I, I, didn't not... act, I didn't act out of shield quick enough on that up smash. Yeah. There. Oh, you... Got Fucking him. God damn it, bro. Got him. Dude. <laughs> What'd I say? I've only I'm done it. Bro. I've only done it twice, and look what's happened. <laughs> exactly dude i've only done it that's three yeah that's three stomps do i get a fourth nice if i get a fourth then it's not a nice way. up air good yeah i forgot I, I, play, I played that entire interaction pretty well yeah okay dude nathan those stomps bro i'm telling you man. i hit three that game i know we went over this we went over how good butt stomp was Yeah, there really isn't. I mean, I feel like that entire game I played well. I, I yeah, don't, I don't have any notes for that. Good. I like the dash grab there. I don't hate it there. That's mm -hmm. that's actually really smart that you did that. That's totally fine. Mm -hmm. Don't. It's not committal also. Well, I mean, he punishes you for it, but. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> you know, whatever. I like the grab. I like that you went for it. Yeah. I DI'd away. I did a proper yeah. DI that time. Oh, he poked. All right, here we gotta do something about this. After this roll, yeah. So I remember you talked about this a while back. I actually do want to think about this interaction. So I remember you talked about a while back is that sometimes there's gonna be not enough time to do any yeah. like do anything after. So like your first instinct is to shield because it's yeah. probably the quickest thing you can do. I don't have a shine or anything like that. Right. But I'm at a low enough shield where I think this actually poked. So what did I do yeah. now? Because it poked. Okay, but the thing that I, I'm going to say is it's okay to, instead of blocking, just hold down. 
Just like even at forty eight, just hold down. Even at forty eight, if he nears you, it's not going to combo. Kellen's also saying, would light shield be even be okay? Fine, I guess, but you know, I, I, light shield's fine. Yeah, you could light shield. <laughs> Kel- <laughs> Kellen's saying, scrubby three rolls in a row, mass jab, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's sometimes I just mass jab, but yeah, here it's to- because here's the thing: if you hold down. It's forcing him to pick a good move to deal with it. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that you're going to beat him, right? Yeah. But I'm saying you're going to have to make him think. Because if he can't combo off you holding down, he has to... The next... Because you're going to get hit, right? Yeah. He kind of read the role, right? Yeah, he, he conditioned it well. So the question is here is when you give up when you know you're in a bad situation, do you give up one? Do you give up shield pressure, or do you do you or do you um, do you do you save your percent, or do you take the percent to get out of the situation? Okay, so what I'm writing right now is what do you give up after you roll? What are you giving up? Yeah, so in this situation, most of the time, just me as a player, but just in general, sometimes it's good is I'll take the percent to get a situation. I'll hold down. If they read that I'm holding down and they pick the right option, let's say they turn around and grab, let's say they up tilt, and then they... Uh, or some sort of strong hit. Or some sort of strong hit, they drill, right? Mm-hmm. Then I'm fine, you know, I'm fine, but I'm forcing them to make that read, you know? I'm not going to just give up my shield if I know they can't, if they know they're not picking the right combo trees off of my crouch cancel, right? Okay. Yeah, because that's... it's okay to get hit. Not every fox can re- can combo that well when you're holding down. Some mm-hmm. of them can could read it. They're really good at reading it and like picking up, picking the right situation. They're like, you know, but always defaulting the shield. Let just just bails them out because they know what option to do if they're if you're rolling after you roll, right? Okay, so you, would you say that like I'm a Brian parentheses? Do you want me to just say make the foxes think? Yeah, make them think, you know? Make the, uh, make the fox think, so... Dude, Do you want me ridiculous. to write, like, anything specific with it, uh, like, uh, with that, instead of just this general note, like, so, because what I have, what do you give up after you roll? And I wrote, wrote in parentheses, make the fox think. Do you want me to write, like, shield, do you, do I give up shield pressure, do I give up... Percent, yeah. Uh, I'll just leave it to those two, shield pressure or yeah. percent. Yeah, because you have to make the fox prove that he can combo when somebody's holding down. Okay, so all right, so here's how that note looks out is what do you uh, what do you give up after you roll? Shield or percent? And I'm writing in parentheses, make the fox think. Yeah. I think that's a good that's a good one because at that point you know they have to hard commit before they can do yeah. something afterwards. Okay. That's a really good note. I think that's definitely gonna be one of like the ones we'll circle. Yeah, see so look 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 here. When you reset the situation you just shield again, right? Yeah, I wait dash back, but I feel like the same concept applies even yeah, with the same way dash back. Yeah, applies, right? Because I'm shielding here, so I'm choosing to give up shield, but yeah. my shield is basically a skittle at that point. Right, exactly. Right, you're gonna give up the same thing three times. Yeah, he's gonna That's... poke because my head, my head and legs are exposed. Yeah, and I think I, I either jump or I just get hit afterwards. You yeah, like I got yeah. hit. Random get up attack. I like the up air. I uh, need stomps there, not yeah. back airs. So let's see. That's a tight. That's a tight narrow though. That's the thing. That's a really tight. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. He messed up his thing. So whatever. Oh, that's what Kellen's saying about light shield when your shield is low. I can yeah, see you, it now. I can see it. Yeah, you, you can light shield for sure. Nice knee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's probably reverse knee, but it's fine. Nice. I'll write that down on Callan's as light shield as a mix up. Yeah, yeah. For on sure. that light, yeah, like light shield, shield. Uh, mix up because it, it it is a thing. It it is mm-hmm. a thing. I I don't do it too much, but it is definitely a thing. Like I usually use light shield on platforms. Yeah. You notice he's full hopping more in the corner now? Yeah. Also, 
Oh, that was gross. Can't believe that worked. Nice up there. I stopped doing the butt stomps. Marty yeah, knows thing. I stopped doing them. Yep. Buff stomp has a really high hitbox too, so he even catches full jumps sometimes. Mm hmm Oh, I've got to punch that. I mean, I, I think I meant to knee out of shield and I missed it and yeah. just rolled. Okay, so now he's reading that you're just Gashin snaring here, right? Yep, he's caught on. And then so he sees it, punishes, right? Yep. Good DI. That was really good DI to get out of that. Uh, I gotta do stomps there. Yeah. A throw. Not bad. That sucks. Nice up air. Okay. Good. Good job, Nathan. Yes, run up. Good shit. That, that entire interaction was really good. It's beautiful neutral. Beautiful neutral. Oh, hand, don't go back, hand. I, you saw I rolled to hand. Let's see what I did, what I gave up here. You just shielded. You know. Yep, I gave up. So I gave up. But here's the thing. It's fine there because my shield's pretty much full. No, but, it's not fine, dude. Or <laughs> is it? No, because... Or, oh, yeah, wait. I'm look, at 59. Look, he's, not even in a pun he's not even in a position to punish you, right? He misses up tilt. Yeah, you're right. Never mind that. Now I see it. it. Yeah. hard your wavelengths are sick <laughs> thank you well, like that, that was a little bit of a desperation i think yeah okay oh barely. i could i could have stopped again i think yeah good job you went for the butt stomp there mm -hmm. but you didn't fade back here right yeah it was mostly a fade in yeah. and i do the turn on there uh, I haven't gotten caught by that BM shine in a while, which is good. You notice that Blart? I'm noticing one adjustment. He stopped doing the full hops from center. He hasn't do them as much. Yeah, he's been that's doing that's much. like the first one he's done. It's like the first like really notable one I've seen him do. That piece really hard for Falcon it is. Backup. Yeah, it definitely is. I think it might be one of his worst stages. I, you just can't do anything once he hits the ground. Yeah. The, the only yeah. thing I really have is that I have pretty good re-grabs, and that's it. Yeah. And even then, it's still difficult. Yeah. All right, final game of the analysis. I'm glad that we were able to squeeze in both sets, because I felt like there was something to gain from both. Yeah. I tried it, uh, and guess what happened? Yeah, tried, tried it. It was good. But it was something different. You notice that? Yeah. Was... He didn't really do that drill before. Yeah, he didn't do the drill before. Yeah, for sure. And so. this actually works out for me because I yeah, because you have no lag when you land. Well, so. and you know what's funny? I've been thinking about so like, uh, Pip Squeak tweeted something about this in like early twenty twenty one, where he would intentionally fall, uh, jump into Falco yes. down air. Yeah. I've noticed that you could kind of do it versus Fox as well. Yeah. But you just SDI it away, and I'm kind of glad that that interaction actually came up here because it netted me. A That's grab. super sick. Yeah. That's awesome. I was a really funny post Falcon was in just now. <laughs> Good job, Fading. Back ah, I could have grabbed that. Yeah, that was you're grabbable. just missing some punishes here. Right here, yeah, it's grabbable. Yeah, that's grabbable. Yeah. Ah, I caught the jump. Okay, yeah, here, I don't understand uh, the DI back. I get it, you're making it hard for him, but he's proven that he can hit this. Yeah, this is just not good DI. Yeah. I think I was probably thinking I can jump out of it in time, but yeah. I didn't. Uh, he jumped into it, but it worked out. Yeah. Uh. Oh, nice. Very beautiful. Um, let's check into this. Okay, grab a zero. Oh, are you up tilt the zero? Okay. Uh, I didn't re quite reach the platform. Okay, that's unfortunate. 
but you DI well, so good. That's stomp. That that was stompable, right yeah. here. Right here, yeah. Right here, yep. Because yeah. he's down tilting afterwards. That's a stomp in the grab or a stomp pop up. Exactly. Good job jumping out there. Grab. Oh. Now, now I'm kind of just getting desperate. Yeah. Oof. Yep. Yeah, I'm just I'm seeing really the massive hole that's in my play right now with the stomps. Because mm. I'm just kind of throwing stuff up now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we gotta gotta stomp him. Yeah. Yep, I'm just I'm just not stomping. Yeah. Yep, yeah, not not good DI. Yeah. yeah. I think just at this point it's very clear yeah. like, on what it's very clear on what I'm getting hit by and what I'm losing yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah, Blarg, Blarg's also moving really well right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's it. All right, well... I think it... I mean, I think it's good. I think it was still, I mean, like, yeah, I don't think... Yeah, considering the stuff he dropped and... You know, it's actually really good, yeah. Okay, so what uh, what we learned, I think there's already one thing that needs to be said is uh, what do you give up after after you roll? Yeah. I think it's uh, what what do you give up uh, after you roll? I think that's definitely one of the big ones. Um, more butt stops. I think it's yeah. pretty self-explanatory. Uh, more butt stomps. Um... More butt stomps. Yeah. Also, just mix up your movement a little bit. Get looser. Yeah. Mix. Uh. Mix up movement. Uh. Play loose. Yeah. Because I know I played pretty tight this set. I would say, or yeah. in both sets, I played hella tight. Um, For sure. Change up the timing and rhythm. Would yeah, that, that and then also just keep he the habits he has, you know, like how he likes to hold center, you know, like that's important. But basically, the dash away stomps like huge, right? Yeah, I'll write uh, the blarg habits, uh, blor uh, blarg habits, uh, full hop in center, likes to play center, yeah. Cause I mean, those are like the big, the big things I got out of it. Um, and then, uh, the Fox up smash, uh, the Fox up smash DI. Yeah. Uh, Pretty good at it at the end. But, yeah. Um, it was better, but I think it's still worth writing down though. Yeah. And we gotta, we gotta hit those techs too, right? Those up yeah. Smash over there, techs over there. Tech Fox up smash. Uh, tech Fox up smash. And properly uh properly di it and i'll just try and prevent these away and then i can't really think of and then i guess like last one hold down more at low percents versus nair or do you think that kind of falls in with the roll thing no definitely yeah no that's very important hold down yeah low percent there. all right hold down Low percent versus Fox. A Fox snare, and then I think that's. Do you think those? Uh, that's a good six. Yeah, for sure. Or a good I seven, mean, considering I you say. play pretty well, and then you just implement some of that stuff. Yeah, for sure. That's okay. And I'm gonna just write these two down. Just believe in run up, grab, and tech chase. Yeah, that, that's that's always good to remember as a Falcon yeah. player for sure. Yep. That's like... And uh, run up grab and tech chase and then the last one would be remember to play disadvantage yeah that too yeah for sure uh to play dis 
add Van Kidge. And I'm just going to write, don't always fade in. Yeah. Because that is a habit. Mm, yeah. Fade in or roll in. Okay, do you want me to just do the full rundown of each, uh, sure, yeah. each yeah, one? Cool. All right, so back to the beginning. Uh, game one. So we started with uh, uh, three things we mainly looked for were how to handle foxes that swing. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, how to handle foxes that swing or hit really hard. I think we kind of went over that. I think it definitely kind of capitalized on that. Um, how to maintain high level of uh, high level of play throughout. We kind of talked about it before the set, but I think like instances like this will help in the building blocks of maintaining it. Yeah. And sure. then how to handle patient slash full op heavy fox. I think that was pretty well covered throughout mm -hmm. of what Blarg was doing. So uh, game one of the first set uh, was, let's see, uh, hold down more at low percent versus snare, make him, uh, make him earn the hit. Experiment with late up air. Experiment with shield stop aerials. I am actually going to hand. I'm writing that one down also. Okay. That's definitely a one. The shield stops. Uh, stop. Uh, shield stop aerials. Um, when, uh, when Fox lands, be aware of where he's at before grabbing. Uh, Nair can catch. Uh, Nair can catch. Same with up air. The drive by. That's the next layer. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing, actually, the full hop, the fox full hop landing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I I don't think you were you weren't struggling with that per se, because when you were waiting for it, you did punish it. You know. I did. Yeah. But okay. it's still good to know. Yeah. yeah. We have, we're gonna have a lot. It's probably the most of like the what we learned section we're gonna have <laughs> by far. Um, observe observe and reset if they are away. Um, when you roll in a. a when you roll, observe where they're at and watch uh, and watch them. Uh, run up, grab if they walk. Um, Blarg likes to full hop in center. Trust the tech yeah. chase. Uh, gain two FD. Believe in run up, grab. Uh, Blarg likes to hold down at center, uh, or right. just likes to hold center in general. Uh, remember to play disadvantage. Uh, game three on battlefield. Learn to learn to set uh, get him off center. Uh, bait him with movement and moves. Um, game forward, Dreamland. Uh, yeah. SDI away, Fox up smash. Be aware that uh, uh, you can hit uh, Fox. Uh, <clears throat> be aware that you can hit uh, you can hit Fox uh, back at low percents. Yeah. Uh, don't live and die on fade in stop. Mm. Uh, do butt stop more. Yeah. Um, and that's the end of winners finals. Uh, game one on the grand finals. Uh, mental note. Uh, you tech in a lot. That's more just a personal note. Mm -hmm. uh, change the timing and rhythm. Foxes will up tilt as a mix up to up smash off of up throw. The nair back air are the other layers. Uh, just wait more in general. Game two on Dreamland. We actually had no significant notes. It was just a well played game. Mm -hmm. Uh. Game three on FD, we had one note, which was probably the big one, which was, what do you give up after you roll? Shield or percent? Sure. You know, make Fox think. White shield is a mix-up. Um, and then uh, game four on Battlefield, I think, was kind of just a review of what we did. So now we're on the what yeah. we learned section, which was, uh, what do you give up after you roll? Uh, more butt stomps. Mix-up movement uh, and play loose. Change yeah. up the timing and rhythm. Blarg habits. He full hops in at center. Likes to play center. Uh, full um, tech fox up smash and properly di it, which is a way. Uh, hold down at low percent versus fox snare. Believe in run up grab and tech chase. Remember to play disadvantage. Don't always have to fade uh, fade in and roll in. Uh, exper experiment with shield stop aerials and fox full hop landing. I yeah. I think that's, that's really a plentiful. Good. That's a plentiful of notes. That's hands. yeah, definitely. Make sure those the butt stomp is in underlined. You know, make sure that's. I'm gonna circle that one in particular. Yeah. Um, so one, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's eleven pretty. That's eleven pretty darn good notes. I don't think. I think that's more than enough for one for one analysis. Yeah. But, all right, I'm going to end the stream now, but peace for anyone that was watching or listening.